This is an introduction to solid separation theory. Sludge suspended particles usually have a density higher than that of the surrounding water. Those particles then settle at a velocity given by Stokes' law, based on the particle density and diameter. For a centrifuge, the equation for particle migration velocity is the same as Stokes' law, but with acceleration due to gravity g replaced by omega squared r. And the ratio of omega squared r to g is given the term the g-force, something that fighter pilots and racing drivers experience firsthand. For cake filtration theory, the key relationship is that between the pressure across the cake and the flow through it expressed as the inverse averaged flow rate dt by dv. And this is determined by the hydraulic resistances of the cake and the filter medium. The flow through the cake causes it to compress with time. And this compression is related to the applied pressure and the cake compressibility n. And that's a very brief introduction to the governing theories of sedimentation and cake filtration. They're both based on idealized systems. Stokes' law assumes spherical particles settling in isolation. Cake filtration theory assumes a uniformly compressible cake with time. And these assumptions don't hold in practice and require a few tweaks with empirical coefficients here and there to adapt these basic theories to practical situations.